This is the complete rundown of every single SpongeBob SquarePants episode and movie. Here we go! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants, who's a sponge that wears square pants and is hired to work as the fry cook for the Krusty Krab, run by Eugene Krabs, who's a crab. Also employed there is SpongeBob's neighbor, Squidward Tentacles, who's a squid with tentacles. SpongeBob cleans up his front yard with a leaf blower that annoys Squidward as he tries to relax. We meet a squirrel named Sandy Cheeks, who has cheeks, but aren't that sandy. She wears a hat full of air to breathe underwater and befriends SpongeBob, inviting him over. Unfortunately, SpongeBob can't breathe in Sandy's tree dome, so gets a special hat of his own. How to blow a bubble according to SpongeBob SquarePants. First you go like this, spin around, stop, double take three times, then pelvic thrust. Stop on your right foot, don't forget it. Now it's time to bring it around town. Bring it around town. Then you do this, then this, and this, and that, and this and that, and then you have a bubble. SpongeBob tries to impress Sandy with his strength strength, only to become the fool who ripped his pants. SpongeBob and his best friend Patrick Starr, who's a starfish, take Squidward jellyfishing, which is like fish fishing, but with jellyfish. Tentacles isn't very good at it though. Mr. Krabs' rival, Plankton, who's Plankton, tries to steal the secret formula for the Krabby Patty so he can sell the burger at his Chum Bucket restaurant, but the sponge in square pants outsmarts him. SpongeBob and Patrick fight over who is the better friend to Squidward, but he doesn't want to be either of their friends. Cheating on a boating test still doesn't help SpongeBob pass on his 38th attempt. The Krusty Krab adds pizza to their menu, and it comes with free delivery. Nematodes eat SpongeBob's pineapple house, but a new home is only a teardrop away. The town of Bikini Bottom is home to superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnica Boy, but their elderly age won't stop them from fighting evil. SpongeBob loses his fry cooking confidence after a bass named Bubble Bass falsely claims he forgot to put pickles in his Krabby Patty. But after days of practice, SpongeBob regains his skill and exposes Bass his deceit, restoring his reputation at the Krusty Krab. A puffer fish named Mrs. Puff, the teacher at SpongeBob's boating school, assigns him as hall monitor, but he takes the responsibility a little too seriously. SpongeBob brings a jellyfish home, but leads to an all-night dance party with hundreds of jellyfish, causing chaos until his pet snail Gary calms them and guides them back to jellyfish fields. Sandy builds a rocket, which SpongeBob and Patrick fly all the way to Bikini Bottom. Mr. Krabs gives SpongeBob some annoying squeaky boots, which he immediately regrets. SpongeBob SquarePants becomes no pants to see what it's like to live in the wild, but he doesn't like it. Squidward wants to move away from his annoying neighbors SpongeBob and Patrick, but Opposite Day makes things way too confusing for the broker. The Krusty Krab hosts a talent show, and the winner is... SpongeBob Cleaning. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all down here in the deep blue sea. But this positivity isn't enough to stop Plankton from trying and once again failing to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. Why go to the gym when you can just buy inflatable muscles? Patrick and SpongeBob think Squidward has died and turned into a ghost but he hasn't. SpongeBob takes Mr. Krabs' daughter, Pearl, to prom. Squidward wants to win the Employer of the Month award over SpongeBob for a change, but their competitive nature leads to no victor. Tired of being called Scaredy Pants at Halloween, SpongeBob makes the rest of the town wish they wore their brown pants. Squidward is tasked with taking care of Gary, but forgets the one job of taking care of Gary. What if back to the future, but Squidward's the lead? Karate makes Mr. Krabs more money. In sleepy time, SpongeBob dreams so well that he ends up in others' dreams. In Suds, SpongeBob dreams so poorly that he ends up real sick. SpongeBob and Sandy make Valentine's Day a special one for Patrick. Who would have thought a gum wrapper would be so valuable in the hands of the imaginative SpongeBob? Arr, it's time for a treasure hunt. SpongeBob and Patrick hit rock bottom when they take the wrong bus home from Glove World, but it's a souvenir from the theme park that saves the day. Sandy misses her home in Texas, so as Bikini Bottom cheers her up, she realizes this is her true home now. Plankton wants to open another chum bucket at the Good Lagoon, despite his original location making no money. Squidward takes April Fools a little too seriously, only for him to become the fool in April. King Neptune challenges SpongeBob to a cook-off after pulling the legendary spatula from the grease. But the quality of a Krabby Patty is always more important than quantity. 
Bikini Bottom is invaded by fishing hooks, but Patrick and SpongeBob get hooked on a feeling, so Mr. Crab teaches them a lesson about the dangers of getting caught. It's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy versus Dirty Bubble. SpongeBob forgets how to tie his shoe, but all you need to do is take a lace in each hand, you go over and under, you make a loop-de-loop -loop and pull, and your shoes are looking cool. Mr. Krabs is in hospital, so put Squidward in charge of the Krusty Krab, who then puts SpongeBob in charge so he can take the day off. But it's hard to relax when the unpredictable SpongeBob is given responsibility. Sea Onion Sundays is the best way to get stinky breath. The Krusty Krab becomes the cuddly crab for the summer, thanks to Pearl. Patrick wants to be recognized with an award. Luckily for him, he's the best at doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else. Allow me to introduce to you, Bubble Buddy. These pies are to die for. You'll never guess what Plankton is trying to do, unless you said fail to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. What happens when a caterpillar emerges from its cocoon? It becomes a ferocious butterfly. Plain Krabby Patties are so last year. Colorful buns are all the rage now. SpongeBob's grandmother cares for her grandson very much, so Bikini Bottom makes fun of him for being loved. Squidward can no longer stand SpongeBob and Patrick's buffoonery, so he moves to a town just for squids. But having annoying neighbors brought excitement into his life, so he becomes the buffoon. Before Sandy goes into hibernation, she spends one last week playing extreme sports with SpongeBob. Rick and Bob borrow a balloon without permission, but it pops, so they run away, fearing prison, only to learn it was free balloon day. Sandy teaches Bikini Bottom the meaning of Christmas, getting presents from Santa Claus. SpongeBob and Patrick get stuck inside Sandy's tree dome during her hibernation, so they use her fur to stay warm. Gary dumps SpongeBob for Patrick, but it turns out the snail was only attracted to his cookie. Mrs. Puff gives SpongeBob his license to avoid dealing with him, but instantly regrets it, so she tries to steal his new car only to get arrested. But she did succeed in having SpongeBob's license revoked. The Jelly Spotters are a highly regarded group of jellyfishing experts, and SpongeBob wants in, but instead proves that he's a bigger expert than them all. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy put SpongeBob and Patrick in charge of watching the Merlair while they go on holiday. But that was a poor decision, as they accidentally released the villain Man Ray. But then it becomes a good decision because they were able to turn him to the light side. The Krusty Krab stand up is the stand up for you and me. Land creatures are better than sea creatures as Sandy proves when she saves her sea friends from a sea gull. SpongeBob throws a peanut at a clam. Patrick gets arrested for it, but Mr. Krabs stole its pearl. After the Flying Dutchman's anchor damages SpongeBob and Squidward's house, they, plus Patrick, climb aboard the ship only to become members of the crew. In the episode, Gary takes a bath, SpongeBob takes a bath. Mr. Krab loses a poker game to Plankton, in which SpongeBob's employee contract was the reward, but SquarePants' personality becomes too much for him to handle. This magical pencil can bring anything drawn to life, but Doodle Bob causes so much chaos that SpongeBob squishes the creation like a bug. SpongeBob tries to learn what's inside Patrick's secret box, but it's just a string. Or is it? In an attempt to impress his rival, Squilliam, Squidward recruits Bikini Bottom to play in a band for the Bubble Bowl. The Krusty Krab is now open 24-7. Krabs and Puff, underneath the sea, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. SpongeBob has an 800-word essay to write for boating school. He procrastinates all night, but gets it done at the last moment, only for Mrs. Puff to cancel the assignment, which tears him apart. Patrick spends the afternoon with his parents after spending the morning with the wrong parents. SpongeBob and Patrick learn of a bad word, but think it's a fancy word, so casually say it around town, only to leave them all shocked as Squidward becomes an art teacher, only for his student SpongeBob to be a better artist. Jelly Krabby Patties are the patties for you and me. The Fry Cook game sees Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob compete against Plankton and Patrick to settle once and for all who has the best fast food chain, but the real winner is SpongeBob. SpongeBob and Patrick's friendship. Squidward and SpongeBob go on strike, demanding more pay from Mr. Krabs, but SquarePants misinterprets what he's supposed to do and destroys the restaurant, so they're forced to work forever to pay off the damages. When an Alaskan bullworm causes havoc on Bikini Bottom, Sandy volunteers to stop the creature, which she does, but right to where the city has just moved themselves to. Plankton swaps lives with Mr. Krabs, but doesn't like it. 
I guess this means it's the last time he'll be after the secret formula. SpongeBob becomes a lifeguard at Goo Lagoon, which isn't great because he can't swim. Squidward joins SpongeBob and Patrick in their treehouse, but he gets irritated and tries to leave, only for the building and them to be flung across the ocean. SpongeBob adopts a seahorse, but causes too much trouble, so he has to unadopt it. Squidward has never eaten a Krabby Patty. Until now. SpongeBob gets bullied by a bully at boating school until he gets too tired and passes out. A health inspector passes the Krusty Krab, even after almost dying. An empty box is filled with possibilities if you just use your imagination. SpongeBob accidentally shrinks everything and everyone in Bikini Bottom with Mermaid Man's utility belt, but fixes the problem by shrinking himself to their height. SpongeBob's dangerous boating causes Mrs. Puff to be arrested and sent to prison, but it was all just a dream, except for the part where SpongeBob is terrible at boating. A snowball fight between SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward becomes a little too serious, turning into a snowball war. Mr. Krabs accidentally undersells a valuable hat, but by the time he gets it back, the value has plummeted. The fame goes to SpongeBob's head when he appears in a Krusty Krab commercial. Squidward quits the Krusty Krab, becoming homeless until he moves in with SpongeBob. But Squidward is a demanding roommate. SpongeBob tries to prove that he's tough enough to get in the Salty Spittoon Tough Club. He eventually makes it in, but then instantly trips and falls on an ice cube. Squidward tries to impress his rival, Squilliam, by turning the Krusty Krab into a fancy restaurant. But he gets found out and made to look like a right fool. SpongeBob thinks Mr. Krabs is a robot after watching a scary movie, but he's not. SpongeBob and Patrick adopt a baby scallop, but parenting becomes too much for them. However, they teach the scallop enough for it to live free. SpongeBob and Patrick are tasked with painting Mr. Krab's house, but they're not very good at it. Do you want a job at the Krusty Krab? Well, be sure to watch the training video very closely. SpongeBob remembers to follow the plan your own party to a T, but forgets the most important part having fun. SpongeBob and Patrick go door to door selling chocolates, then stretch the truth about the benefits to sell more. Barnacle Boy becomes evil, joining forces with Man Ray and the Dirty Bubble. So SpongeBob and friends become superheroes to stop them and bring Barnacle Boy back to the light side. Patrick joins boating school, causing chaos before realizing this isn't Spanish class. SpongeBob and Squidward help Mr. Krab save his millionth dollar after a giant clam swallows it. Did you know that SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward's prehistoric ancestors discovered fire? It's the Great Snail Race. SpongeBob trains Gary to the point of exhaustion and loses. However, does fall in love with Squidward Snail, Snelly. But the winner is Patrick's pet rock. Mr. Krabs is in a midlife crisis, so SpongeBob and Patrick help remind him of his youth. After getting food poisoning from eating a rotten Krabby Patty to save money, Mr. Krabs promises to change his ways and no longer be greedy. SpongeBob breaks his butt, leading to him living a too safe life. But when he gets his confidence back, a gorilla rips him in half before riding away on a zebra. The Krusty Krab is now targeting a younger audience to make more money. Why go camping hours away when you can be like SpongeBob and Patrick and do it in your backyard while singing C A M P F R I E S O N G songs? SpongeBob loses his identity when he accidentally wears his shirt backwards. Even with the help of Plankton's entire extended family, he still can't steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. SpongeBob learns to fly so he can be like a jellyfish. The Tattletail Strangler tries to strangle SpongeBob, but he doesn't. SpongeBob and Patrick use invisible spray to prank Bikini Bottom, but are eventually pranked themselves in the nude when the spray washes off. SpongeBob SquarePants. The Krabby Patty opens a sequel right next door to the original, but despite being the greatest employee ever, SpongeBob does not get the manager position as Mr. Krabs believes he's too immature. Meanwhile, Plankton has exhausted all evil plans to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula from A to Y. But it turns out there's another letter in the alphabet. Z? The plan sees Plankton steals King Neptune's crown. Now he has to use a paper bag to cover the bald. Aye, aye! Plankton frames Mr. Krabs as the suspect, so Neptune freezes Eugene. Luckily, SpongeBob volunteers to go to Shell City, get the crown, save the town, and Mr. Krabs. So with six days to complete the task, that's exactly what he and Patrick do. But while the two goofy goobers are away, Plankton has finally done it. He's stolen the Krabby Patty secret formula and now serving the burgers at his chum bucket, where each order comes with a free bucket, which is a terrible toy. Not just because it's an empty bucket, but because it brainwashes the wearer. All hail Plankton. 
SpongeBob and Patrick's journey leads them through dangerous missions, but despite them being considered childish, this quest is making them more mature. Oh my gosh, Patrick, you have a mustache! They arrive in Shell City and get the crown. The only problem is, Shell City is on the surface, meaning the best friends dry up. But their emotional death saves them, sending off the fire sprinklers, refreshing their bodies. However, there's no time to celebrate. They haven't got long left to finish the mission. Thankfully, that task is made easier by someone currently bay watching. He takes SpongeBob and Patrick out to sea, then activates his abs to shoot them down to the Krusty Krab. Oh no, they're too late. Plankton has covered Neptune's bald with a bucket and is mind controlling him. But SpongeBob reflects on what he's accomplished over the past couple of days. Despite being just a kid and a goofball and a wing nut and a knucklehead, but most of all, I'm a goofy goober! And as we all know, the power of the Goofy Goober is enough to defeat Plankton. So SpongeBob SquarePants has proven that he's worthy of being manager at the Krusty Krab 2. The Krabby Patty becomes 24-7 again, trying to one-up Plankton's 23 hours. Plankton tries to use SpongeBob's exhaustion to get the secret formula out of him, but you're never gonna believe this. He fails. Mr. Krabs is embarrassed by his appearance until discovering that all his friends are embarrassed of their aging too. Eugene is having trouble sleeping, so SpongeBob and Patrick replace his mattress, only to find that's where he keeps all his money, putting the Krabby Patty owner into a coma. But don't worry, he wakes up when reunited with it. Plankton sues Mr. Krabs after a fake slip and fall, leading to the trial of the century, which Mr. Krabs has found not guilty, but is found guilty of being cheap. SpongeBob neglects Gary, leading to him running away really slowly and moving in with an overcaring old lady, who SpongeBob has to save from. SpongeBob is the greatest ever player of the Crane game, and Squidward is the worst. Squidward's new security system comes to life and shows us what's going to happen when AI eventually takes over the world. Mr. Krabs sells the Krabby Patty to a corporate giant, but changes up the methods, so he eventually comes back to save the business. SpongeBob loses his laugh, but eventually learns to giggle again. SpongeBob and Patrick get teleported to medieval Bikini Bottom, where they become knights and restore peace to a kingdom in peril. Plankton goes on a date with Mr. Krabs' mom, but he also tries to seal the secret formula. And you're never gonna believe this, he fails. SpongeBob and friends create a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy movie that's worthy of all the Ruzzies. When Patrick's head falls off and replaced with Brain Coral, he becomes too smart to be SpongeBob's friend until they find his old cranium to rekindle their bond. SpongeBob and Squidward get caught in one of Sandy's experiments, becoming SquidBob Tentacle Pants. The Krusty Krab becomes a hotel, which shall never deny a guest even the most ridiculous request. SpongeBob's poor driving forces Mrs. Puff to resign, and her replacement too. Sandy's chimpanzee bosses love Sandy's banana peeling robot, extending her contract. It's up to SpongeBob. SpongeBob to make the Flying Dutchman scary again, with Squidward as the test subject. SpongeBob uses Mr. Krabs' credit card to buy all the presents for Pearl's birthday, which almost puts Eugene into another coma. SpongeBob and Sandy visit Karate Island, which is an island for karate. While SpongeBob's reliable spatula is recovering in hospital after getting injured by a monster patty, he has to use a fancy new spatula. How to get free money according to Mr. Krabs. Set up a wishing well outside the Krabby Patty. Plankton has turned over a new leaf and no longer wants the Krabby Patty secret formula. <laughs> just kidding, he does. Is Gary a zombie eating snail? No, he just has a splinter. SpongeBob is forced to use his holiday leave at work, but can't stay away from flipping Krabby Patties. Luckily, it goes on so long, his vacation days dry up. SpongeBob's new hairdo is the talk of the town, inspiring a new style. When Squidward swallows his clarinet, SpongeBob and Patrick become Ant-Man and the Wasp to retrieve it from within. Patrick becomes the most beautiful person in Bikini Bottom. After cement gets poured on Squidward, he gets mistaken for a wild creature, so he goes to live with others that look like him now. SpongeBob thinks he's turned Squidward into an ice cream cone with magic, but he hasn't. Patrick gets his driver's license first try, making SpongeBob jealous, tearing it up, going on a joyride and having to spend one debt to society in prison. All hail King Patrick after discovering his royalty. And so is Gary. Don't judge a book by its cover or an intimidating biker gang who are actually really friendly. Plankton isn't actually after the secret formula. Instead, teaming up with Mr. Krabs to take down the newest competitor, Kelp Shake. SpongeBob accuses Patrick of stealing his prized jellyfish net, but he just left it on the bus again. When Squidward refuses to play with SpongeBob, he makes a puppet version of his tentacle friend, who becomes more popular than the real being. It's the best day ever. 
Patrick gives SpongeBob his giant ball of used gum, but it becomes a sticky situation. Friend or foe is the origin of how Mr. Krabs and Plankton went from best friends to rivals. The original Krusty Krab Fry Cook is back until he leaves pretty much immediately when he asks for a raise. A scary book makes SpongeBob afraid of the dark, so he buys all the nightlights. Live a morning in a life with Patrick Starr. SpongeBob waits for days by the mailbox for a toy to arrive, only for it to break immediately. But don't worry, it's supposed to do that. SpongeBob infects the whole city with fungus before Gary cleans it up. Mr. Krabs hires SpongeBob and Patrick to spy on Plankton to uncover his latest plan. And you're never gonna believe this, they stop him. If you wanna learn how to drive a boat safely, copy Squidward. If you never wanna get your license, do what SpongeBob does. Mr. Krabs holds a contest to see who can remember the most customers' names, only for Squidward to get too competitive, stealing someone's wallet to learn theirs, which lands him in prison. But at least he won the competition. SpongeBob moves into the Krusty Krab to avoid being late for work. Plankton tries to drive customers away by turning the Krusty Krab into an ice rink, but does the complete opposite. This new roller coaster makes SpongeBob and Patrick excited to ride, but they're secretly scared. Plankton tricks Spongebob, Patrick and Squidward into redecorating the chum bucket while he tries to steal the secret formula. But you're never gonna believe this, he fails. Spongebob falls in love with a Krabby Patty he made, but burgers don't live a long time, so it's a short romance. What if Squidward turned that frown upside down? Mr. Krabs sells his soul to the Flying Dutchman so he can talk to money, only to find it annoying. Spongebob versus a Krabby Patty making machine. Who will win? Spongebob is Spongebob. Can Spongebob and Squidward win a dance competition together? No, Patrick wins. After a food critic praises Spongebob, the Krusty Krab becomes the Krusty Sponge. Patrick writes the worst song ever. Sandy gets a flea infestation in her tree dome. Luckily they live underwater, so they drown them away. When Patrick is tempted by SpongeBob's donut, he has to use all his restraint to avoid eating it. SpongeBob goes to extreme levels to clean a plate, so much so that the Krusty Krab burns down. But it's okay because the dish is now clean. Plankton turns everyone into babies so he can steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. But you're never gonna believe this. He fails. SpongeBob and a fancy French chef switch jobs. SpongeBob's simplicity wins over the French restaurant, but the complexity approach of the Krusty Krab fails. So they both go back to their original establishments. What if Willy Wonka, but SpongeBob SquarePants? Despite his best efforts to stay clean for picture day at boating school, SpongeBob turns up a mess. When Patrick eats at the Krabby Patty without paying, Mr. Krabs puts him to work. But when he accidentally blows up the restaurant for like the 10th time, He's fired. SpongeBob finally stands up to his ferocious cousin, Blackjack. A black eye changes SpongeBob's personality to that of a tough guy. Plankton mind controls Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in his new attempt at stealing the Krabby Patty secret formula. But you're never gonna believe this, he fails. SpongeBob and Patrick get on the wrong boat and accidentally ship off to prison camp instead of summer camp. Sandy teaches SpongeBob and Patrick how to survive on their own by leaving them on their own in the wild. Guess who's related to a famous Western hero? SpongeBob SquarePants. The Krusty Krab has gone mobile, with SpongeBob and Patrick taking Krabby Patties to customers all around the sea. SpongeBob thinks Patrick is too dirty, Patrick thinks SpongeBob is too clean, but they both succeed in achieving their desired result on the other. Who Bob what pants? Is what SpongeBob is saying after he loses his memory. You know that sexy Squidward meme? That's this episode. More than just SpongeBob's nose becomes a musical instrument, attracting jellyfish to him. So he creates stone statues of himself so he can live in peace again. Miss Gigglepuss is against all things fun and delicious. So bans Krabby Patties, leading to the restaurant running in secret at SpongeBob's house until Gigglepuss tries the signature burger and loves it, reopening the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob's clumsy cousin Stanley comes to visit, but ruins everything with his clumsiness. Squidward tries to one-up Squilliam by making his house fancier, and even though SpongeBob destroys it, art is weird. Plankton's new plan to steal the Krusty Krab formula is by forming a band with SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward. But you're never gonna believe this, he fails. Mr. Krab sees SpongeBob pick up what he believes is money, but it's just dried up gum. Inside a $500 and bill. Maybe the reason SpongeBob hasn't got his license is because the boats aren't big enough. Or maybe it's not. Plankton turns the chum bucket into a Roman Colosseum to attract more customers. And it does. For a bit. Squidward writes a symphony that goes horribly wrong, but it's highly loved. After being told that he's not normal, SpongeBob changes his personality, so it's up to Patrick to turn him back into the SpongeBob we all know and love. It's National No SpongeBob Day, so SpongeBob has Bikini Bottom all to himself. SpongeBob gets a splinter, 
then it gets pulled out. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward annoy the town with slide whistles, but Karma catches up to them when Squidward's gets lodged in his throat. Larry the Lobster is a lobster who is very strong, so SpongeBob and Patrick try to copy his exercise routine, but they haven't got the same skills and end up in hospital. Don't forget to slip, slop, slap, seek, slide if you don't want to end up with an extreme sunburn like SpongeBob and Patrick. Never be around SpongeBob when he's got a bottle of growth serum, or you'll end up like giant Squidward. The animators never drew Patrick a nose, so he buys one, only to lose it to the stinkiest smell of all. SpongeBob goes on a quest to find the stolen secret ingredient for the Krabby Patty, but it wasn't Plankton, it was just Mr. Krabs avoiding paying $1.99 for delivery. The Chum Bucket has a customer, but they were just paid by Plankton's computer wife, Karen, to make him feel better. They actually hated the food. After Squidward loses his license, he becomes boning school buddies with SpongeBob. The Krusty Krab becomes a newspaper, and SpongeBob becomes a reporter, but the false news causes it to shut down. Mr. Krabs gets SpongeBob to spy on Pearl during her slumber party to make sure nothing goes wrong, but SpongeBob is the reason everything goes wrong. SpongeBob enters Gary into a pet show, but Patrick wins. A giant tidal wave leads SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward to a deserted island, so they have to learn to surf a big wave to get back. Newfound wealth goes to SpongeBob's head, ditching his friends until he loses all his money and realizes true wealth is friendship. The prestigious Bikini Bottom Men's Choir has two new members trying out, Squidward and SpongeBob. SquarePants may have won the gig, but Tentacles gets to turn his pages. Mr. Krabs enters SpongeBob and Patrick in a wrestling competition, which they win, but SquarePants and Star trade the cash prize for WrestleCamp. Patrick finds a rare trading card, but mishandles it, driving Spongebob crazy. But don't worry, he's got spares. Vikings kidnap Spongebob and Squidward. But don't worry, the Krusty Krab employees will be back by the next episode. After Spongebob skips boating school to go to a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy signing, he gets distracted on his way back and ends up taking the whole day off. Mr. Krabs pretends to be a pirate like his grandfather, and is convinced by the lucrative prices of Krabby Patties. SpongeBob and Patrick get Squidward kicked out of an elite club, so they help him get back in, only to be immediately kicked out again. SpongeBob remodels his house to look exactly like Squidward's to get him to visit. When SpongeBob's pants shrink in the dryer, he buys new ones to go from square pants to round pants. While Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are injured, SpongeBob and Patrick take their places in a shuffleboarding match, which they win. Squidward pretends to be Squilliam to get a job at a prestigious music school, but gets found out due to the lack of unibrow. After Gary scares the parent of baby worms away, SpongeBob tries to find them new homes. Luckily, Mr. Krabs has a plan to sell them for an overpriced amount. Plankton upgrades Karen with a new robot to steal the Krabby Patty's secret formula, but you're never gonna believe this, he fails. Mr. Krabs puts SpongeBob in charge of the Krabby Patty for 15 minutes while he gets an emergency manicure, but what a poor decision it was. SpongeBob's schedule becomes hectic when he promises to help Patrick, Sandy, and Mr. Krabs with tasks that are all happening simultaneously. Patrick wants a job at the Krusty Krab, specifically so he can get a hat. SpongeBob and Patrick get locked in a toy store overnight, but it's less fun and playful, more scary, and the opposite of playful. A sandcastle building competition between SpongeBob and Patrick turns into an all-out war. SpongeBob accidentally breaks Gary's shell, but don't worry, Mr. Krabs gives him his. Advertising by Patrick helps attract customers to the Chum Bucket until he resigns to work for the Krusty Krab. While celebrating their anniversary, Plankton gets distracted by the Krabby Patty formula, which you're never going to believe he fails to steal. Everyone gets trapped in a freezer during the Krusty Krab's anniversary celebration. Patrick and Squidward bunkered down at SpongeBob's house during a thunderstorm, only for his home to be the only one affected. The Chum Bucket goes underground when Plankton discovers a cavern under his restaurant. This helps attract customers, so he uses the distraction to steal the formula. I'm just kidding, of course he doesn't succeed. King Neptune refuses to celebrate his birthday until SpongeBob and Patrick find his long lost son, Trident. Squidward gets his own TV show, but constant entertaining interference by SpongeBob, Patrick, and friends leads to them replacing tentacles as the star. When Squidward becomes jealous that SquarePants is invited to a dance audition, he overworks the sponge so he can take his place, only for him to be overworked by his rival Squilliam, the lead of the production. Pearl experiences a massive growth spurt and becomes really hungry, so SpongeBob makes the Krabby Patty taste like a million. Now she's satisfied. After slipping on a bar of soap, SpongeBob gets sucked in a ringer. So this is his life now. Oh, never mind, he cries his way out. Plankton disguises himself as Sandy to try and steal the Krabby Patty's secret formula, but you're never gonna believe this. 
He fails. This time, Plankton enters SpongeBob's brain to find the secret Patty formula. But you're never gonna believe this. He fails. When Mr. Krabs and Plankton compete to serve the greasiest fast food, the health inspector shuts both their restaurants down. After overhearing Mr. Krabs talking on the phone, SpongeBob thinks he's been fired from the Krusty Krab. So he gets a job being the sponge in a kitchen sponge commercial before finding out he wasn't actually fired from making Krabby Patties. Squidward gets fined for littering and is forced to clean up the town. SpongeBob gets Gary a pal, but is secretly a monster. SpongeBob and Patrick fight over a toy they bought together, but if Patrick can't have it, no one can. Luckily, there are way more of these toys, so they each get one of their own. And the award for the cheapest crab is... Eugene Krabs. After accidentally shaving the Flying Dutchman's beard, he turns SpongeBob and Patrick into ghosts until it grows back. What if there was a world within the lockers at the Krusty Krab? SpongeBob and Patrick's protest against the construction of a highway through jellyfish fields is successful. SpongeBob and Patrick travel back in time to see Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in their prime. But don't change the past or that'll change the future, unless it's the Avengers theory. Anyway, that's exactly what they do. And now Man Ray rules Bikini Bottom. More Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? That's right, we get to watch the lost episode of their show. Can SpongeBob go a full day without crying? Yes. But Squidward can't. While trying to get away from SpongeBob, Mrs. Puffs accidentally crashes into the Krusty Krab and is forced to work there, right next to SpongeBob. When Mr. Krabs finds out that Plankton is afraid of whales, he pretends to be his daughter to scare him. There's something about Mary that Gary finds attractive, but there's something about this other snail that Mary finds attractive. Can Squidward perform a play while simultaneously serving customers at the Krusty Krab? Kind of, yeah. SpongeBob tries to save Sandy from participating in a dangerous rodeo, but she doesn't need saving, cause she wins. Plankton pretends to be SpongeBob's grandmother to steal the secret Patty formula, but you're never gonna believe this, he fails. Mr. Krabs uses Gary to find loose change around Bikini Bottom, but gets crushed by all the cash and now has to use it to pay for his medical bill. Patrick befriends a monster who wrecks havoc in Bikini Bottom, so he now lives really far away in the snow, making ice cubes for the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob and Squidward accidentally get sucked into an alternate realm called the Bikini Bottom Triangle. A witch curses the Krusty Krab after being denied service, so SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs have to get a really specific coin thing so she can do her laundry, which they get, and now the curse is lifted. SpongeBob and Patrick go on a quest to find the drain at the bottom of the ocean, but Patrick accidentally pulls the plug and sucks Bikini Bottom away. Luckily, it was just a bedtime story. SpongeBob and Patrick are held prisoners by a backwards gang called Trench Billies, but they're set free after completing a series of challenges. A volcano erupts, threatening Bikini Bottom, and Squidward is chosen as a sacrifice, but SpongeBob saves him by plugging the volcano with Tentacles House. SpongeBob and Patrick go on a train adventure to retrieve the Krabby Patty formula, which Plankton tries to get two, but you're never gonna believe this, he fails. SpongeBob and Patrick dig tunnels beneath Bikini Bottom, causing all the buildings to sink below, so now the entire city is underground. Patrick learns karate, but can't stop chopping. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward get trapped in a time capsule. Luckily, the secret formula was also buried within, so as Plankton tries and obviously fails to steal it, they now have an escape hole. SpongeBob and Patrick create a tiki paradise for Squidward to make up for being annoying. Annoyingly, they're the ones who accidentally destroy it too. Because SpongeBob has difficulty saying no to people, he gets an abrasive side, but has to remove it for being too rude. Round and round the records spin all day. Listen again, it takes you far away. Trying to stop it is futile, so just listen now to my musical doodle. No, says the rest of Bikini Bottom and have the earworm removed from SpongeBob. During a game of hide and seek, SpongeBob searches for Patrick all across the ocean, but he was just five meters away from where he was counting. Plankton disguises himself as Gary to steal the Krabby Patty formula, but you're never gonna believe this, he fails. Mr. Krabs commissions a statue of himself, but it looks nothing like him. Bikini Bottom is attacked by giant whelks, but don't worry, SpongeBob absorbs them away. SpongeBob and Patrick are not compatible friends according to a quiz, but why should a quiz determine who can and can't be companions? SpongeBob and Pearl get stuck on a ride at Glove World, but then they get unstuck. The Krusty Krab adds Krusty Dogs and removes Krabby Patties. So he blows the whole operation up so everything is back to the way it was. There's a shipwreck in Bikini Bottom, which Mr. Krabs turns into a money-making theme park ride. It's a shame it gets destroyed by the end. There's a new fish in town who Squidward befriends, until he becomes more annoying than his other neighbors. Squidward falls in love with someone named Squilvia, but needs SpongeBob's help to impress her, and is successful? 
Patrick's sister Sam visits, but turns out to be more of a nuisance than her younger brother. Sandy and Plankton team up for a science competition, but did you notice how I mentioned Plankton? That's because he has an ulterior motive to Krusty Recipe Secret Patty. However, fails he never gonna believe this you. When Squidward fakes an injury at the Krusty Krab, Eugene is forced to take care of him until the deception is revealed. So now Squidward is forced to pamper Mr. Krabs. Another day, another attempt for Plankton to steal the secret formula, but this time it's from a new restaurant, the Flabby Patty. The Krusty Krab now offers drive through Can the help of a famous race car driver help Spongebob get his license? No. What if mini golf, but the course is inside Spongebob's house? Spongebob tries to overcome his obsession with hoarding, but he still wants the memories, so he takes a photo of each item before selling it all. But now, his house is filled with all the images that somehow took up more room than the actual items. It's the sled worm race for a million dollar dudes. So as everyone competes, Plankton tries to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula, but you're never gonna believe this. They're attacked by a sea monster! Plus Plankton fails. Patrick now has a beard, which makes him act like a grown-up. But don't worry, it's not a beard, it's a sea urchin, so Patrick is back to being immature. Spongebob has a fear of public speaking. Good thing he doesn't have to do a public speech. Oh wait, yes he does. Plankton tricks Squidward into helping him steal the Krabby Patty formula, but you're never gonna believe this. He fails. Googly eyes equals the greatest art ever. Let's watch Spongebob's road trip slideshow. Patrick goes on vacation to his own home. Plankton, it's one small step for Sponge, one giant leap for Sponge kind. Mr. Krabs takes his daughter on a vacation to the greatest holiday destination of all, the Bikini Bottom Mint. SpongeBob and Patrick explore a haunted houseboat with a ghost pirate. Have you ever wondered what the origins of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy is? Well, Mermaid Man got a starfish on his face and Barnacle Boy ate some barnacles. It turns out all Plankton needed was a second eye to not be evil. It's a shame he loses it. Pearl goes through puberty, but SpongeBob once again proves that he's a better parent to her than her actual father. Patrick looks after Gary, but ends up flooding SpongeBob's house, even though they live under the sea. SpongeBob house sits for Sandy, but chaos obviously ensues. It's been like over 300 of these, of course everything goes wrong. Squidward and SpongeBob win backstage passes to Kelpie G's concert. Unfortunately, Patrick eats them, so they have to sneak in. SpongeBob accidentally uses up all of Sandy's oxygen supply, so he goes up to the surface to inhale a big bubble of O2 to bring it down to the tray dome. Can SpongeBob earn the blackest karate belt? Yes, only the belt he received was holding the Karate Master's pants up. Mr. Krabs uses a growth serum to enlarge Krabby Patties to save money. Only, it doesn't stop growing. Luckily, SpongeBob uses his sponge powers to sponge it up. Bubble Buddy returns and he's got a kid, but SpongeBob has to babysit, which requires a lot more care than someone who can't die to a pen. SpongeBob has taken a toll on Squidward and gets a restraining order against him, but that's difficult to uphold when they work together. Plankton tries to reverse engineer the Krabby Patty formula from a piece of art, but fails. The answer to Squidward's happiness is destroying a whole bunch of SpongeBobs. Can SpongeBob save Bikini Bottom from evil jellyfish? Yes, all it took was a jar of mayonnaise. Plankton gives away free samples of his burgers, driving sales away from the Krusty Krab, so Eugene does the same. Luckily, Krabby Patties are tastier, so all the customers come back. SpongeBob's house is dying, so he buys a new one from a can. Plankton upgrades Karen and shows us what it'll be like when AI takes over the world. SpongeBob can't sleep, but then he can. Too bad it's on the job when he's supposed to be working. After making too many funny faces, SpongeBob and Patrick's expressions remain that way. But don't worry, it'll be back to the way it was by the next episode. Oh no, Glove World is closing. Can SpongeBob and Patrick save their favorite theme park? No. Good thing they opened a newer, bigger one right next to it. Squidward pretends he's got a fake sickness to get out of work and he's kind of successful. SpongeBob may not be a good driver on the road, but everything he hasn't learned works perfectly for a demolition derby. Gary's obsessed with his new snail treats that he'll do anything to get more. Unfortunately, they're all sold out. Plankton wins a free Krabby Patty and uses it to try and get the secret formula. But you're never gonna believe this. He fails. Plankton turns everyone in Bikini Bottom from nice to naughty at Christmas. Everyone that is, except Spongebob, who has too much love to become bad. So he's able to save everyone and stop Plankton from completing his master plan of, get this, trying to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. Here we go again with Plankton. I don't even need to tell you what the outcome is. What about this time? Nope. 
SpongeBob goes a little overboard while trying to promote the Krusty Krab. Whose restaurant will the health inspector close down? Is Plankton's. Come along for the ride as SpongeBob and Squidward tour with the Krusty Krab Band. Extreme Sports with Johnny Krill goes overboard. Sandy wants to break every world record. Patrick Mann is the greatest superhero of all. Gary becomes obsessed with his new red ball. SpongeBob gets his license to make a milkshake. Squidward bumps his head, regressing to a baby light state. Squid gets Sponge's diary and reads everything he wrote. SpongeBob almost gets his license to drive a boat. The Krusty Krab is invaded by a sea urchin. Squidward learns karate to stop thieves from breaking in. Plankton breaks from prison trying to steal the formula, then tricks the sponge into thinking he has a cursed spatula. A giant goo bubble rises from Goo Lagoon, but SpongeBob and his friends pop it before their doom. Mr. Krabs gets trapped inside his bank, starting to fret. To take his mind off the formula, Plankton gets a pet. SpongeBob and Patrick watch a scary movie. Ghosts in the Krusty Krabs cooking up a spree. SpongeBob is obsessed with a cat that looks like Tom. There's a Yeti in the city of Bikini Bottom. Mr. Krabs finds SpongeBob to save money. After getting hired back, a shortcut takes him further out to see. Not even Krabs can teach Bob how to pass his driving test. Squidward goes to a gallery with SpongeBob as his guest. Business class Krabby Patties to make that money stack thick. Plankton tries to interrupt a company picnic. Eugene was once a pirate, finding treasure was his goal. SpongeBob fills his home with pets getting out of control. Patrick enters a Krabby Patty eating contest. He also creates a board game, which makes everyone impressed. Mr. Krabs' safe is flushed into the sewer. SpongeBob long pants makes him act more mature. The Buff Lobster Larry opens a gym to lift weights. Sandy does an experiment to learn how these two are mates. Mr. Krabs loves money so much that he falls in love with it. Pearl gets a job at the mall, but really wants to quit. Squarepants breaks his thumb, and it wasn't from a fall. He also joins a gang, unknowing that they're feared by all. Plankton creates a clone of SpongeBob for the recipe. Bob and Rick mistakenly think they've sold their houses for free. Is the fortune cookie really leading to very good luck? Krabs freezes patties, but compared to fresh, they're yuck. Sandy sciences a tree to produce a lot of nuts. A bulletin board makes everyone embarrassed to their guts. The whole gang is heading on a journey off to FoodCon. SpongeBob has a pen pal, and their name is not Ron. Plankton tries to seal the formula, hiding in SpongeBob's home. After failing creates a hot sauce, now everyone's dumber than a gnome. A mission to recover Mr. Krabs' treasure from a pirate ship. Patrick has a toothache, so it's time for a dentist trip. What if, and bear with me on this, what if Plankton tried to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula but failed. Unfortunately, the Krusty Krab is also affected by this failure as it magically disappears. So no formula equals no new Krabby Patties. You'd think SpongeBob would have at least remembered the recipe by now, but no. So the usual gang go on a quest to find it, which leads them to the surface in a different animation style. It turns out the formula was stolen with magic by Burger Beard, a burger maker with a beard. In order to defeat the bearded burger maker, SpongeBob uses another spell from the magic book to transform them all into superheroes because this was released at the height of those kinds of movies. And guess what? Oh right, this is pre-recorded. They're successful, returning to the Krusty Krab to make the citizens of Bikini Bottom their favourite burgers. SpongeBob and Patrick turn their brains into toys. It's Mermaid Pants and Barnacle Star fighting crime, but Squidward and Mr. Krabs are their villains? After Squidward tricks SpongeBob into thinking his house is dangerous, he moves out and the replacement home is a rocket ship. Squidward goes in for a nose job, but the doctor is SpongeBob, so he uses all his tentacles to fix his snout. SpongeBob spends the day mimicking everyone in town. The pineapple house is infested with worms, but they can't stand SpongeBob's laugh and move out. Squidward is so tired that he can't wake up, but he has a clarinet recital. Luckily, SpongeBob and Patrick get him there in time. Unluckily, his playing isn't very good. The Krusty Krab catering is the catering for you and me. SpongeBob opens his own restaurant from home, which becomes more popular than the Krusty Krab. So Mr. Krabs renames his store, the Krusty Krab and SpongeBob's place to bring him back to the establishment. Plankton tries to win Karen back after being literally kicked out of home, and he wins her back without even trying to steal the secret formula in the process. After taking out life insurance policies, SpongeBob and Patrick think they're invincible, but that's not how things work. Luckily, even after all the reckless behavior, they're left unscarred. It's a different story for Squidward though. The best bubble blower makes a unique bubble for everyone. 
Plankton has retired and no longer after the secret patty formula. I'm just kidding, of course he is. When SpongeBob finds King Neptune's magical trident, he accidentally causes havoc in Bikini Bottom to a level only he could cause. SpongeBob is tiny after being exposed to too much heat but all it takes is water to fix the problem. Neither SpongeBob nor Patrick know how to play sports, so Squidward pretends to teach them so he can win a competition, only for him to comprehensively lose to Sandy. SpongeBob unintentionally becomes a getaway driver before unintentionally sending the criminal back to prison. The citizens of Bikini Bottom are very clumsy because the collection in the lost and found of the Krusty Krab is enough to fill a store. Patrick finds a coupon for a free ice cream, but it's expired. However, he'll do anything, including acting like the ice cream king, to get a cone. After learning that paintings are more valuable after the artist has died, Mr. Krabs buys all of Squidward's collection, then sends him on dangerous deliveries to end him. But the best he can do is severely injure him, plus himself in the process. A green moon causes everyone in Bikini Bottom to revert to their primal states, but Sandy is the only one not affected, so it's up to her to save the day. Patrick is a sleepwalker, so it's up to SpongeBob to stop him from causing trouble around town in the unconscious state. A prehistoric sponge frozen on ice comes to life and causes chaos across Bikini Bottom, but is forgiven with a dance-off. After migrating clams disrupt the town, SpongeBob becomes the Clam Whisperer. Plankton's Petamobia is back, causing more trouble on the Krusty Krab, but still unsuccessful in stealing the formula, if you can believe that. It's Mr. Krab's annual health checkup, but doesn't want to go, fearing the worst. However, he passes with flying colors. Well, Larry the Lobster passes with flying colors for him. Plankton makes himself even smaller to try and steal the secret formula, but you're never gonna believe this. It still doesn't work. A group of hippies make camp in a bowl of soup? Man Ray is freed and attempts to reform with SpongeBob and Patrick's help, but it doesn't work. The Krusty Krab becomes a gym after Larry the Lobster becomes manager, but customers rebel and it's back to eating unhealthily. The legend of Boo Keeny Bottom is that SpongeBob thinks scary equals funny on Halloween, but it doesn't. Patrick becomes the worst tour guide of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob gets stuck on the roof of the Krusty Krab, so he builds a Krusty Krab on top of the Krusty Krab. A new Krabby Patty prototype turns everyone into zombies, but the cure is Plankton's chum. After a boating crash, Plankton and Mr. Krabs are forced to go back to boating school. Now they have a new level added to their rivalry. SpongeBob and Squidward are tasked with cleaning up Bikini Bottom because Mr. Krabs is too cheap to buy more garbage bags. SpongeBob tries to capture a wild rabbit, but not only does he fail, it mass produces. Squidward's clarinet disappears, but then, it reappears. As a way to distract SpongeBob and Patrick, Squidward sends them on a scavenger hunt. When SpongeBob eats a rotten Krabby Patty, he begins to hallucinate a giant fluffy hamster. Patrick is a horse for this episode. Gary can talk with his new translation collar. He kinda sounds like Keith David. When a clown is left behind by the circus, SpongeBob tries to find him a new career before finding a new circus. SpongeBob gets a new boat that talks. And no, this doesn't mean he got his license. SpongeBob has been trying to pass for so long that self-driving vehicles have been invented. Patrick goes to a retirement home for ice cream, but ends up staying and aging. SpongeBob and Patrick break apart of them to create smaller versions of themselves who are more annoying than the original. Plankton can't steal the secret formula, but can his gran? Yes, but it's retrieved pretty much immediately. One of Sandy's inventions leads SpongeBob and Patrick to the Doodle Dimension, but are able to draw a portal back to Bikini Bottom. Bubble Bass is forced to move from his mother's basement to his grandmother's house, but gets SpongeBob and Patrick to move his things for him. SpongeBob dives to the surface of the ocean. Squidward accidentally throws the Krabby Patty secret formula away, which Plankton removed from the bin. So now he has to get it back, which he obviously does because Plankton can never know the secret. Someone named Fred keeps hurting their leg. Patrick opens a lemonade stand, where the main ingredient is, of course, Squidward's ink. Where does mustard come from? Mustard mines, of course. When SpongeBob goes to shop for Krabby Patty ingredients, Plankton steals them, only to find it was a fake list created by Mr. Krabs to distract the thief. If Squidward can babysit Pearl without anything going wrong, he can work a shift without SpongeBob. Unfortunately, everything goes wrong. When SpongeBob accidentally spills a delivery, he vows to clean it up, but ultimately destroys the office building. What if Pinocchio, but Patrick? The Krusty Krab is now an open kitchen so customers can watch the incredible SpongeBob do his thing. The only problem is SquarePants has stage fright. Mr. Krabs becomes paranoid that Plankton is trying to steal the formula, and he is. But don't worry, he obviously fails. Patrick reads so many books that he gets too smart to leave the library. Plankton's thievery has finally caught up to him, being sent to prison. But somehow, everyone else seems to find a way to get arrested too. Sandy turns her entire tree dome into a ship to try and win a ship in a bottle contest. 
and she does, but as a squirrel in a bottle. It's off to the moon for Spongebob and the crew, and Santa's there too. Spongebob misses a never-before-seen two-part special episode of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy after being constantly delayed by his friends on his way home from work. So to cheer him up, Spongebob's friends reenact the episode on stage. Karen gets a virus, so it's up to Spongebob to hack it out of her. Some kids steal the Krusty Krab grill to make a car, because that's obviously the best type of vehicle. The Krusty Krab now has a night crew. Just kidding, it was all a hallucination. Spongebob visits Bubble Buddy in Bubble Town, but accidentally slips on a bar of soap and pops the whole town. Sandy, Mrs. Puff, and Karen pull a prank on Spongebob to make him think he's passed his driving test. When Sandy goes jellyfishing with Spongebob and Patrick, her competitive nature leads to the destruction of jellyfish fields. But have no fear, she fixes it. Spongebob finds a loose thread on Squidward's shirt, but while unraveling it, turns out it was the thread holding the whole universe together. Krabs pays debt. Gary creates wife. Empty head society. Patrick is dirty. Prison is overcrowded. Pineapple house car. Gary gets limbs. Plankton is king. Rod and Chum explodes. Spongebob adopts Cloud. Patrick Bass playdate. Spongebob card trick. Plan Crab takes over. Squidward drives bus. Babysitting Sandy's nieces. Security guard Patrick. Spongebob's alarm breaks. Karen's baby computer. Rock actually shell. Jenkins kicked out. Spongebob's gapless teeth. Dirty bubble clean. Hotel for neighbors. Babysitting the elderly. Spongebob's surface birthday. Welcome to random land. Stop biting nails. Arm wrestle competition. Five minute break. Sponge boss Squarepants. Goofy Goober Patrick. Ghost Plankton Fails, Ice Cream Melts, Spongebob House Sits Anchor, Patrick Squidward Roommates, Lighthouse Rolls Away, Bikini Bottom Hiccups, Lost While Camping, Crabs Craves Chum, Zoo Bands Spongebob, Krusty Crab Quarantine, Plankton Gets Intern, Patrick Has Rage, Bass Doesn't Pay, Crabs Puff Date, Glove World Jail, Promotion and Concert, Spongebob's Musical Dream. It's Spongebob's third movie, and the film is going in a new direction by having Plankton try to steal the Krabby Patty's secret formula. He realizes that Spongebob is the reason he's never been successful, so he steals his pet Gary to prevent the sponge in square pants from getting in the way of his plans. So with the sponge on the run after his pal, with help from Patrick, Plankton can enact his plan. But it happens easier than expected. Mr. Krabs willingly gives Plankton the formula after feeling down from not having Spongebob around. This makes Plankton feel guilty, and even more so when they find out that Spongebob and Patrick are being held prisoner in Atlantic City after infiltrating Poseidon's palace and finding Gary. So he, Mr. Krabs, Squidward and Sandy set out to save them. Luckily, Spongebob and Patrick's friends arrive just in time to save them from being executed by Poseidon. The king offers to spare their lives if Spongebob leaves Gary with him. But Spongebob refuses, claiming his friends are the most important thing to him, even offering Poseidon to be his friend. This gesture allows Poseidon to be comfortable showing his true appearance, confessing that he only wanted Gary Slime to maintain his look. Everyone accepts Poseidon for who he is, so he allows Spongebob, Gary, and his friends to return home. Not only that, but the king releases all enslaved snails, turning Bikini Bottom into a sea snail refuge. The Krusty Krab is now a pet's only restaurant. Karen wants a romantic date with Plankton, Plankton wants the secret formula, so Plankton gets Patrick to do the date for him while he fails to steal the formula. Squidward accidentally gets Spongebob's package containing circus sea fleas, but throws it away, much to the annoyance of the creatures. Squidward once again pretends to be sick to get a day off working at the Krusty Krab. The animatronic robots band together again at the Goofy Goober thanks to Spongebob and Patrick. Patrick's a dog for this episode. Bikini Bottom becomes a hillbilly town. Plankton's charm has turned into monsters, which he uses to try and steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. But you're never gonna believe this, he fails. Santa is the one who usually delivers the presents on Christmas, so Spongebob thinks it would be nice if he got one. So it's time for a road trip to the North Pole. Mrs. Puff is tired of trying to teach Spongebob how to boat, so she replaces herself with a potato. If you combine the crusty crab grease with the chum bucket grease, you get everything juice, a liquid that works for literally everything. What if the three little pigs, but Spongebob Squarepants? Squidward, Mrs. Puff, Bubble Bass, and Plankton are all a part of a secret We Hate Spongebob Club. The Krusty Krab food truck is the food truck for you and me. It's a whale's day out with Pearl and Narlene. A cute animatronic duck that eats anyone who says, "oh" to it is Plankton's latest failed plan to steal the secret formula. Patrick is now the postie after accidentally crushing the previous one with a rock. Now this may surprise some people, 
but he's not very good at delivering letters. Can a Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode help Plankton steal the Krabby Patty secret formula? Yeah, no. Step aside, crying babies. SpongeBob and Patrick are trying to take the crown as most annoying passengers on a plane. Squidward accidentally receives Nosferatu's mail, so he and SpongeBob venture to return it. While Nosferatu is at the doctor's, Slappy takes a trip through Bikini Bottom. What if the citizens of Bikini Bottom were robots? The Krusty Krab payphone is the payphone that's hypnotizing. Grand Pants travels across the tidal zone encountering cowboys and seahorses. SpongeBob and Squidward build a ship for Mr. Krabs. There's a castaway living in SpongeBob's pineapple walls named Wally. While the Krusty Krab overcomes an urchin infestation, SpongeBob goes to work for the Salty Spittoon. Plankton is away at a doomsday device expo, so Karen is left to take care of their pet, Spot. Sandy Science is a tree that can grow underwater. Patrick mistakes a burglar for the Tooth Fairy, leading him and SpongeBob to unknowingly become his goons, but their naivete sabotages his plans. When their house becomes uninhabitable, SpongeBob's parents stay at his pineapple. If you want to learn how to drive a boat safely, copy Squidward. If you never want to get your license, do what SpongeBob does. Plankton and Karen become florists. Mr. Krabs enters a float in the Bikini Bottom Parade for free advertising, but things go horribly wrong. After another failed attempt to steal the secret formula, Plankton plus SpongeBob end up on Monster Island and are required to work together to escape. SpongeBob teaches Patrick how to ride a bike. The Krusty Krab adds Sandy's homemade barbecue nut snack to the menu, allowing customers to breathe fire. SpongeBob and Patrick's favorite comedy duo, Sir Urchin and Snail Fail, have split up, so SquarePants and Star try to bring them back together. It's SpongeBob and Squidward's friend anniversary. Squidward's terrible clarinet playing causes town disruption, forcing him to take music classes where he's outshone by SpongeBob's flute nose. What if Moby Dick, but SpongeBob SquarePants? What if Jack and the Beanstalk, but it's Plankton and the Beanstalk? Sandy's new invention can bring anything to life, which SpongeBob uses on a Krabby Patty. The fun believable segment on Squidward's talk show sees Sandy stuffing nuts and the town's oldest citizen. SpongeBob breaks his spatula, so he travels to the mystical Misty Mountains to get it reforged. SpongeBob builds Gary a playhouse. SpongeBob also builds a swimming pool under the sea. SpongeBob accidentally creates patty whips by blending Krabby Patties into a kelp shake. SpongeBob and Patrick use carrier clams to send messages to each other, which annoys Squidward. SpongeBob is allergic to Squidward's cologne. Ringmaster Mudcrab steals the Krusty Krab's customers, prompting Mr. Krabs to enlist SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick to sabotage the circus and bring the business back. Sandy has an evil clone and is destroying Bikini Bottom, so it's up to Original Recipe Sandy to save the day. Hooray! And now you're all caught up on SpongeBob SquarePants. You're welcome. Don't forget to absolutely obliterate that like, subscribe, and share button. I'm just kidding. Only do it with enough force that it registers. I don't want any of you breaking whatever device you're watching this on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what your favorite SpongeBob episode is.